What's up guys? It's Tom here. Today, today, today I want to review my 2020 YouTube year and then just the year in general because there's a pretty hectic one. Lots of ups and downs. A lot more downs than ups, but I think YouTube for me was one of the ups this year. First off, I hope everyone had a great Christmas and great holiday season this year. And now it's time to look back on this year as we head into the new year 2021. Today I'll be giving you guys a look behind the scenes of my YouTube statistics and then I'll be talking about why I created this channel, the purpose of this channel, talk about the community here, the baseball community, sports community, and we'll start talking about what I've learned through this process and then we'll talk about my goals for 2021 and then I'll be talking about what to expect going forward and some new things that I want to try out this coming year. So for the YouTube stats analytics, we are right now at 287 subscribers, just shy of 300. This is pretty incredible. Like almost 300 people are watching me like blabber on the internet about baseball and sports in general. Like it's ridiculous. You guys are crazy for supporting me, but I appreciate it deeply. My most viewed videos, uh, my most viewed actual videos are the um, where will the top free agents go this off season with almost 5,000 views. Then you got my, my top free agents list that has 2.5K views. And then you got the explaining the playoffs because the 2020 playoffs was unique and different from all the other years. So I thought I'd make a video about that and it turned out to be a hit. So. I'm happy about that. Most of my views came from September to now. The first half, I guess, of my YouTube career here, the six months that I've been making videos, the first half I was kind of, I don't know if I'd say slacking, but I didn't know what I was doing half the time. I still don't know what I'm doing right now. Like, I mean, I've made some improvements. We got some better lighting, we got some better lighting, you know, uh, quality should be better. I mean, the editing should be better. Thumbnails are hopefully better. So the first couple of months I'd make a video here and there about random things Then I started to make more videos here this, I think November and December. Um, and I think I've seen some growth and definitely more consistent views and watch time. So that's huge. And then I'll talk about later in the what I've learned section of the video about um, things that I've learned throughout my journey of creating videos. So I'll be talking about that later. We'll get into the why I created this channel during the uh, lockdown that we had earlier in the spring. It almost hit me like, you know, one of those light bulbs, just that ding. like it, it just came to me like an idea like, okay, I like baseball, I like sports, and I like talking about it. So why not just start a YouTube channel, right? I've always kind of wanted to do this. It's fun to talk about sports. Finally grew the pair of balls to do this. And also I had so much free time on my hands just sitting around in my room doing nothing basically. So just playing video games, MLB The Show, I grinded that game so much. Um, I wish I kept grinding it. And that might be something I want to try out next year as well as put some MLB The Show content on the channel because I am pretty fire at the game, I'm not going to lie. But back to talking about the purpose of the channel. So not just me liking talking about sports, I also created it to try to get people to like the game of baseball, you know, and try to provide content for people that are new to the game of baseball, which can be seen by my like YouTube shorts videos and then some other videos where I talk about things such as how to talk the game of baseball and then what was my other one? Oh, the Fernando Tatis trade like a lot of people that know a lot about baseball already know about that but trying to get uh, the newer people to baseball involved in the community and maybe to get them to like the game like I do and that many others do and I try to provide content for people that have been following the game forever you know uh, I think I've created a good place to have a discussion about the game and then relevant current topics, you know, like trades that go down. Oh, was it good for this team? Was it good for that team? Getting into the advanced stats more. I mean, honestly, before this year, I was more of like a casual baseball fan. Like I didn't know a lot about these advanced stats. I mean, I watched the games here and there. I like baseball. I've had my favorite players. This year, I've really done my research, I feel like, and then have 
grown myself as a baseball fan, I guess, and I think that progress can definitely be seen on this channel as well. So that leads me right into my next topic of discussion, which is this little community that we have created and then just the baseball community in general as well. I definitely want to have a name for our little subscriber base fan base that we get going here. I want it to be some baseball related, you know, like, uh, I don't know, the dugout, the pen, something like that, you know, some catchy. I just love the back and forth that I have in the comments, these interactions with <laughs> random people on the internet that love baseball. Uh, it's awesome to see everyone so passionate about their team or their favorite player or their thoughts in general. I mean, just people love talking about what they love. So, I mean, in the case here, it's baseball and it's it's awesome it gets fired up in the comments sometimes and sometimes people just bash me for no reason but i mean that comes with the territory you know but definitely my most watched video i made some crazy predictions that uh are definitely far out there like jt real Muto to the raise nope come on tom that's not happening but uh i just wanted to spice things up and i mean it got me some views and a lot of subscribers to the channel I think a lot of fans are older and understand the game a lot, so it's awesome to have these conversations with people that have been around the game probably even longer than I've been alive, so that's awesome to always chat with people like that down in the comments. Now let's talk about what I've learned throughout this little six month journey that I've had so far on YouTube, and I've learned quite a lot in this short amount of time. First things first is just how much time goes into making videos or at least quality videos in my opinion. I pride myself in making the best quality content that I possibly can and it takes a lot of time like recording this I probably blabber for about anywhere from 20 to 30 to 40 minutes. Um, and there's a lot of ums and uhs in there than me just looking at my notes, you know, so I got to edit all that out. And then just that whole editing process takes, I mean, probably two hours. I've gotten pretty efficient at it at the beginning. When I started out, it took me forever. It seemed like like four hours just to make a 10 minute video. But I think I've uh, shortened that down to maybe two hours. And then after that, you got to render the video, upload it. That takes time as well and then making a thumbnail. And then I think the hardest part is coming up with like a catchy title, making sure you have all your keywords in there in your video uh, tags and then description, make it interesting. Try not to make it sound robotic, but still using a bunch of keywords. If I keep grinding, I feel like I've figured out what people want to watch, you know, not just some random stories about me, maybe in the future when I get more subscribers and you guys are more interested about me than like, news that's going on in the MLB, but what works and what doesn't work, uh, talking about relevant topics, things like that. Also, just grinding it out, like in the short term, um, I always wanna do better. Sometimes I feel like on YouTube, I wanna be a perfectionist and be perfect at every little thing, but then I come to understand that like, that's not possible because uh, if I'm concerned over every little detail, I'm gonna be sitting here at my computer for an extra couple of hours wasted time um, of trying to make make it perfect when in reality nobody's videos are perfect and it's better to just get the video out there for people to see and just hear my opinion about what I have to say about certain topics. While you're grinding you don't realize uh, how far you've come I guess. These past couple of months I think I've seen the most growth because I've been grinding constantly but I haven't really taken a step back and then when I do take that step back and realize what I've done it's pretty cool and pretty neat to see and especially say a video starts blowing up it's probably one of the coolest feelings in the world just knowing that your hard work has paid off and just like any anything else in life you know like for me it's uh baseball like uh hitting my home runs you know that's greatest feeling in the world or even just getting a hit getting on base throwing someone out from behind the dish, you know, getting a strikeout on the mound, anything like that, just seeing your hard work pay off. It's a big deal. So I think everyone should take a step back every now and then and look at what they've achieved uh, throughout the year or throughout the season or throughout the day, whatever it may be, find those little victories 
within the day and then cherish them. I did not realize how hard it was to actually talk to a camera because if you think about it, if you're talking to someone else, like your buddy, your friend, you know, there's someone that's talking back to you. But when I'm sitting here talking to the camera, no one's talking back to me. So I find those awkward pauses to just be even more awkward. And sometimes I just don't know what to say. And it just, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's just weird. Like I think every YouTuber or content creator goes through this like if you're just going off the top of your head you're gonna <laughs> mess up sometimes and it's just frustrating sometimes uh when you don't know what to say or you can't quite say what you want to say but i've definitely learned that talking into the camera is way harder than it actually seems um and most of the time a lot of these youtubers that you watch they've been doing it for years and years so it's like just second nature to talk into the camera but I'm still getting used to that, so cut me some slack, all right, guys? So we'll start talking about my goals now, and that is to hit 1,000 subs, 4,000 watch hours, and then just keep creating quality videos. Um, I think if I keep creating those quality videos and then relevant topics about the MLB, trades that go down, free agency signings, uh, just talking about what I think. I think people love hearing what people have to say. That's why I think prediction videos do so well and then ranking videos also do so well because as can be seen by like Giraffe Neck Mark making his rankings of every position and then also ranking his top 50 players in the MLB. Those always get a bunch of views and are always hyped up and he hypes them up and they get a bunch of views. So just keep creating quality videos and I think those 1,000 subscribers and then those 4,000 watch hours we get a couple big videos you know out there i think we'll be able to reach that and then we're at almost 300 subscribers so we're almost a third of the way there i just can't wait till we keep growing get a bigger audience i think it'll be like a snowball as we get a little more uh subscribers and then more views they'll turn into more watch hours you know then i think i'll be able to smash my goals by the end of next year we'll talk about what to expect going forward uh, obviously, like I said, I'm going to still be talking about MLB news, uh, any notable things that happen in baseball, just anything under the sun baseball, and then talk about maybe my baseball experiences, stories, blah, 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 whatever, whatever you guys want to see in the comments, make sure to give me some video ideas. If there's anything you want to see from me, uh, going forward in 2021 and then new things I want to try out. Uh, I did a little bit of this on the channel already, but talking about baseball cards. I love baseball cards, but that is just one expensive hobby to get into. Uh, I sent my, I think my best cards into PSA to get graded, I think in November. So hopefully the next couple of months, I know they're backlogged, but I'm expecting, I don't know. It's going to come back when I'm not expecting it. So hopefully it's a nice surprise in the mail and maybe I'll get some cards that are graded nicely. As I hinted at earlier, I think I want to get into... MLB the show a little bit on the channel make maybe make a video here and there about it when the new game comes out um, We'll have to see if my ps4 can still run it. I got it when the ps4 first came out Whatever it came out years ago and right now when I run it, it sounds like a jet engine going off and I feel like my room's gonna explode we'll see about that, but uh, I love playing I love playing MLB the show. I have so much fun when I play it well, when I'm doing good, when I'm not doing too hot, can be one of the most frustrating things in the world. And uh, BR runs, Battle Royale, that's not fun either sometimes. Uh, I think the farthest I got was 11-0, and 0, and then I went 11-1, and 1, and then, yeah, didn't get the <laughs> flawless rewards, so that was a bummer. But I have fun playing the game, so hopefully I can share some of that fun with you guys on the channel going forward. I might start dabbling in other sports as well. I mean, uh, where is it? this over here? I'm a Seahawks fan. Got the Russ jersey up there. Got some Seahawk stuff back here. Yep, a couple of framed pictures and plaques and whatnot of them. I'm a big Seahawks fan. They're my ride or die uh, football team. I mean, in football, I'm not as knowledgeable as I am in that as baseball. Like, in football, I've never played football. Uh, I've basically played baseball just my whole life besides uh, basketball. 
you know, I can ball up a little bit. Played that seventh grade, you know, SYSA basketball. Kobe! My shot's wet. But when it comes to talking about basketball or football, you know, half the time I don't know what I'm talking about. And if I talk about that on the internet, I know so many people are just going to roast me like, you have no idea what you're talking about. Blah, blah, blah. Like, it's happened for me when I know what I'm talking about, or at least have an idea of what I'm talking about in baseball. So I couldn't imagine what it'd be like if I started talking about other sports, but we might have to give it a go eventually and see what happens. That's why I named my channel Tom Talk Sports because it gives me that opportunity to branch out um, and talk about other sports. Like if I named my channel Tom Talks Baseball and started talking about football or basketball, like doesn't make sense right maybe going forward we'll update the branding of the channel a little bit maybe we'll get a new profile picture we'll get a new banner on the channel um we'll see about that i'll play around in photoshop with those sort of things maybe get someone else to do it know what they're doing because i have no idea what i'm doing in photoshop like all i know how to do is cut out the outline of me sitting here for my thumbnails and <laughs> That's about it. But those are just some of the ideas and what to expect and what new things you could see coming forward in 2021. That wraps up my video talking about the year in review. Just to end off the video, I wanted to say thank you so much for the support guys, this growth that I've had on YouTube. Although it isn't a lot, every single subscriber that I get is it just brings me so much joy seeing that go up and knowing that one new person uh, liked the content and then felt like they wanted to subscribe to the channel and hear more of what I had to say. So thank you so much. My grandma in Japan is even watching all the time. So and she doesn't understand what I'm saying. So hopefully uh, I can say something that she'll understand now. So YouTube no video mitete Arigato. <laughs> uh, and thank you for the Christmas present as well, Grandma. <laughs> Hopefully we can grow the channel more going forward in 2021 and build a nice following where I can talk to uh, you guys about baseball or whatever's on my mind. Let me know down in the comments if there's anything that you guys would like to see going forward in 2021. Give me your video ideas and then just give me your feedback about my videos in general. Like, what do you like? What do you like about him? Um, anything like that. Whatever you want to say in the comments. Let's get those comments section going. And I'll talk back to you guys. I love doing that, like I said earlier. So make sure you go do that. Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you next year in 2021. <laughs>